welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Saturday, January the 20th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and I'm here to read for us all the three passages of scripture selected for today using the Revised Common Lectionary. It's a three-year plan to present all of the scriptures to us through daily readings in concert with the church year. We are in year B of the three years, and we are in the church season of Epiphany, which follows after Christmas. This is the Saturday before the third Sunday after the Epiphany, which is on January 6th. Today I'll be reading Psalm 62, verses 5 to 12, then a reading from Jeremiah, and a reading from the Gospel of Luke. We begin with Psalm 62. For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. Set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God, and that to you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love, for you will render to a man according to his work. Our first reading comes from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 20, verses 14 to 18. This is a part of a psalm of lament being sung by the prophet. Cursed be the day on which I was born, the day when my mother bore me, let it not be blessed. Cursed be the man who brought the news to my father, a son is born to you, making him very glad. Let that man be like the cities that the Lord overthrew without pity. Let him hear a cry in the morning and an alarm at noon. Because he did not kill me in the womb, so my mother w would have been my grave and her womb forever great. Why did I come out of the womb to see toil and sorrow and spend my days in shame? Our second reading comes to us from the Gospel according to Luke, in the New Testament, of course. And this is Jesus speaking. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to Hades. The one who, he who, the one who hears you, hears me. And the one who rejects you, rejects me. And the one who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. This is your eternal word, almighty God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us and grant, loving Father, through the power of the Holy Spirit that your word might be written in our minds and on our hearts and in our very souls wherein it can achieve in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. As always, friends, I thank you and commend you for taking just a few minutes out of your day to listen to the Word of God 
as it is read, and it is my joy and my privilege to do this for you. I've taken the references for the passages that I have read today, and I've placed them in the description portion of this video for you, so that you can look them up again, read them again, make notes, meditate, interact with the Word. I do pray that you'll take time to do that, and I also pray that you'll be with me tomorrow when I will read the passages selected for that day. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you.